Schedule managers are great for coaches, consultants, team meetings, freelancers, sales, recruiting, and so much more. Developing a system to manage availability rules in a scheduling app usually requires a few moving parts. When you're giving users the ability to define when they're available, you have to take into account the days of the week, the time of day, time zones, time between appointments, recurring availability versus one-time instances. There's a lot of logic that goes into building calendar systems, right? Not to mention displaying all of this information and offering these preferences in a way that's intuitive for your users. Some of the most common pitfalls we see when it comes to creating availability rules in a scheduling app typically involve forgetting about all of these nuances. If you exclude buffer times between appointments, then you run the risk of back-to-back -back meetings with no breathing room for breaks or meetings that might go a little long. If you're not indicating time zones for multi-location meetings, then you end up with people showing up at the wrong time. And while it would be easy to have a predictable schedule and set up the same availability for every day or week, that's just not the reality of how most people's schedules go. You have to allow for time off, vacations, special events, and other one-off changes so that availability is accurate. Without incorporating these important pieces of logic, you greatly risk having an app that's less flexible for the majority of use cases that forces users to make compromises in how they manage their schedule and leads to more cancellations and rescheduled events, which no one wants. These are the consequences that will ultimately drive users away from your app. Now, it's easy to overdo it with the amount of customizations you build into availability rules within your scheduling app, but start simple. Build out your logic with basic functionality first, such as a daily rule that is the same every week. Make sure that baseline works well, then incorporate conditions to those rules. Layer those important considerations into your logic piece by piece to make your development easier and more stable. Before you know it, you'll have a robust feature in your scheduling app.